I think we all can agree that Randy Orton is one of the greatest of all time. A decorated superstar, to say the least, a gifted athlete. JBL even said it perfectly. If you want to build a wrestler from the ground up, you look at Randy Orton. But ladies and gentlemen, I am here to talk today about what Randy Orton has done in the past. More specifically, bald-headed Randy Orton 2009. Legacy Randy Orton was the most vicious, diabolical some bitches on the planet in 2009. This all started when Randy Orton just happened to win the Royal Rumble. And you know what's funny? He won the Royal Rumble after he kicked Vince McMahon's skull. You know how diabolical you gotta be to kick a 63 year old man in the head and then be like, I'm gonna go win your own event and I'm gonna main event your own event. That's what this man did. That's what Randy Orton did. He kicked Vince in the skull, he competed in the Rumble, and he won it. And then Orton came out and said, Nah, I got a disease called IED, bro. I got this condition where, like, I can't control what I do when I explode. Pause. So Randy Orton decided to take out his frustration on his son. What? He took out the boss. Let's go after the son. He takes out Shane. So I mean, granted, Shane was asking for it. Shane wanted to fight Randy Orton on Raw after No Way Out. After they had that great No Holds Bar match. They wanted to fight one more time. Which led for Shane McMahon to get clapped as well. Punt to the skull by Randy Orton. But then, this is where things kicked it up a notch. This man, Randy Orton, RKO, the daughter of Vince McMahon. What? I don't think it's true. Yes, Stephanie got clapped by the Viper. And then she got saved by some long-haired dude with a beard. You know, I think it was Shawn Michaels. I don't know. God, hey! Can we also talk about the fact that Randy Orton handcuffed the man onto the top rope and then bashed him with a sledgehammer? And then his wife came to plead for mercy and she got clapped with a DDT, and then he sealed it with a kiss. <laughs> the kiss heard around the world. Oh, I feel bad for you, Triple H, had to watch that. Then we get to the final Raw before WrestleMania, where Randy Orton explained to the entire world that he did what he did because it was premeditated. Four long years in the making for Randy Orton to torment Triple H way worse than what Triple H did to him in the days of evolution where Randy Orton decided to take out his father-in-law his brother-in-law and then his wife all because of a four-year grudge and now at WrestleMania Orton plans to take away the WWE Championship Psych! Sadly not the case. That did not happen. Orton got beat. And I thought that was it. Thought Randy Orton was done with. And Orton said, nah, run it back. Run it back. And then he decided to get the championship at the Backlash pay-per-view. When he punted Triple H in the skull. When I tell y'all, that was a major blow. Because like Triple H felt like the hood ornament of this entire vehicle. That one piece was left out of this entire puzzle. Because Randy Orton was so angry at the fact that he got his back turned on by evolution. That he waited until 2008 to strike. He took out Batista with a punt kick. He took out Triple H with a punt kick along with his family. Then we get to the saga of Batista. So Batista fought Randy Orton at Extreme Rules for the WWE Championship in a steel cage. Batista finally wins his first WWE title at the expense of Randy Orton thinking, all right, Batista got him, we good. Psych! Next night, celebration got cut short because Orton broke the man's arm. Like, Randy Orton at this point, life or death. Randy Orton at this point, the WWE Championship was life or death. This man is psycho! Not only Randy Orton winning the championship again in a fatal four-way, but then Randy Orton somehow survived the triple threat match at Night of Champions and retained the championship. Not only that, he got to beat up Seth Green and Freddie Prinze Jr. within a span of a couple of weeks. Wow. That match at SummerSlam 2009 between John Cena and Randy Orton, that match was great. What? Then we get to Breaking Point, where we have the rematch, Cena and Orton. This is their best match in this feud. The Iron Man match was good too, but I'm just saying, on a personal note, this was a great feeling to see John Cena with the WWE Championship in hand, but watching this match, 
and as many times as I had because I had the DVD, the fact that I vividly remember Randy Orton handcuffing Cena onto the turnpost, he proceeded to beat the dog water out of John Cena. He beat him up with the kendo stick. All it took was for John Cena to hit that backdrop, for him to turn it around and win the championship. We all thought, okay, Randy Orton's done there. No, he gets a rematch at Hell in the Cell. He pump kicks Cena to win the championship. Then we finally get to the Iron Man match. Iron Man match, John Cena, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, dead ass, tried to blow up John Cena. <laughs> Y'all think I'm lying when I say that. Luckily, Cena got out the way, but he wanted to kill this man. We all know what happened in the end. And that's pretty much the end of Randy Orton. Once Orton tapped out to the STF and it was 6-5, that's when we knew the era of psychotic, bald-headed Randy Orton was done. For 10 months, we got to see the true Viper. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below about bald-headed Randy Orton. Do y'all remember the, the craziness that went down back in the day? Leave your comments down below. Hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe. And I am out. Later.